Good afternoon, Lace Jack, but I'm John. This is Betty Truder. Welcome back to Hitman 3. Well, last time we went over to Berlin, stormed a club, and basically took out a whole bunch of icy assassins. Like, you know, worse ones. Much worse ones. And, uh, oh, that was an interesting mission. So, uh, Hitman 3, you're impressing me. And today, uh, we're going to China, though uh, not 100% sure, like, you know, why? Because we did, like, at some point, two missions ago, steal a big document telling us about Arthur Edwards, but no one's actually said what's, like, in it yet. So I'm guessing his address wasn't there. Anyway, let's see what's going on today. Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. ICA? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. You and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public... You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this? And I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Oh, he said the thing Diana normally says. That's adorable. So... Okay, why precisely did you know Hush, Olivia? Ah, here we go. Before he was recruited, he was just hiring a bunch of up-and-coming youngsters, and Olivia was amongst them, but when she found out what was going on, she wanted out. However, Hush and Royce aren't actually friends. On the contrary, they've been deliberately set up as rivals, so they're both developing new technologies, but... Fierce competitors might be an opportunity to make one of them take out the other. And some stuff to watch out for here, so high-tech weaponry, including remote-controlled drones, poisonous stings, micro-explosives, but beyond that, decision manipulation. You don't need to kill somebody if you can reliably make them change their mind to suit your agenda. Meanwhile, Royce is a bit of an odd cookie, so comes from a humble background, got fascinated by transhumanism, so she's modified her body to surpass human limits. Now, don't know what that means in terms of, uh, yes, thresholds for pain, 
or damage. She might be harder to kill than your average person. Okay, so she's, yeah, about uh, behavioural analysis. So as a result of that, she's concerned about Husher's project because uh, he's disappeared from the facility. She's going to be inside the compound. Hush might have, you know, some form of black site outside it. That might be easier to infiltrate than the facility itself. Interesting, and uh, as I suspected, uh, she's not willing to accept him outdoing her. Potentially, yeah, I could get her to take out him. Now that'd be hilarious if it's possible. Nice raven suit, couple of throwables, a lockpick. Let's see what we got. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiment in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Okay, so it sounds like she's doing the traditional stuff. He's really at the uh, the cutting edge. So, uh, oh, this is nice. The coat's all, you know, wet because it's raining. That's lovely. Okay, so it looks like right now, yeah, we're starting off on minus two for whatever reason. We've got ourselves, there's Imogen Royce. So uh, this will be the ICA facility right over here. There's only one basement underneath it. I'm going to guess that, you know, uh, important. That might be the mainframe or something. And this over the other side of the street here, that's going to be the apartment complex. So keep going up in the world. We're going to have ourselves... Uh, there he is. So uh, he's right on the top floor. There's a couple of ways up, but there's also uh, a building next door with, uh, on level four, a way across. That's got to be the better way to infiltrate his private building. Okay, let's get onto the ground, see what we got here, because uh, there's a whole bunch of potential, you know, uh, opportunities floating about. So let's just see uh, what happens, because uh, sooner or later, we're going to run into someone who's going to say, Hey, have you heard how much Imogen Royce is allergic to peanuts? Luckily, there's no peanuts in the facility, or that could be trouble. Oh, look, there's the peanut man. I sure hope he doesn't take any of his peanuts up to, you know, something of that nature. It's going to be great. Okay. Don't get it back. Where is it? I don't know where it is. I forgot. I, I keep forgetting. They'll hurt you. Don't go there. The machine will hurt you. Okay, I'm guessing Hush has been performing some experiments on, uh, you know, uh, just some uh, random folks on the street, which is what he was just talking about there for a second. Dear oh flippin' dear. So here we go. We can go up to the street from down over here, or we can skip up in this direction, see what's going on in this building. No need to rush to the street, but also watch out for, yes, all of these little camera spots. It looks like there's a huge amount of camera intel, which I'm guessing is uh, take a photo, Olivia tells me what's going on. So what precisely is going on here? Alright, some form of... There's a kitchen? Nope, I'm allowed in here, that's fine. Okay, laundrette. Held myself to a nice iron. This all looks absolutely fine. Though we've also got a keypad right here. Okay. So I need a code to get back to... Oh, stairs up. Okay, might be able to sneak higher and higher in this building. Right, well, ignore that for now. I don't see a code or anyone who's got one. So this brings me up to, uh, yeah, just elsewhere in the streets. Oh. I said, did you find it yet? Not yet. But it has to be up here somewhere. Just keep looking. Okay, something's been lost on the roof. Then just opposite the laundrette over here, we got ourselves karaoke! Oh, flip me. Right, well, I'll be having a, a coin. Tragically, 47 cannot blend in by doing karaoke. Boo! Boo, I say! So, alright, this is uh, this is around the back of that apartment building. Right here, so here we go. Here's a way in 
through this back alley to the ground floor with nobody seeing. But let's just, you know, get the lay of the land here. The block. Now, by any chance, is uh, the block going to be... Uh, yes, this is the building he's actually in, isn't it? So, uh, there it is. There's the... Ooh. Okay, there is going to be a security camera guarding the crossing point, obviously. Sir, you've got the wrong place. You don't qualify for the homeless shelter. Ah. He's actually, yes, putting this up as a homeless shelter because... Uh, oh. Oh, well, that's that's good and nightmarish. Love it. I got this flyer, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to find on the building. Oh, this is not good news for you, my friend. Now, there's also, right by, yeah, those people who might be about to go and get themselves in a lot of trouble. Yeah, there's some scaffolding. That'll get me to the second floor. But this place is, uh, this place is well guarded. So, okay. Couple of different ways in. There's a side window. There's the building next door. There's in the front door if you disguise as a homeless person. Or there's the scaffolding up to uh, the second floor. Okay, so looping around the far side of the building, that's the door I went into. There's also uh, a lower level, but more people guarding that too. So, okay. Might need to break into the, uh, the arcade next door. Now, is anyone around here? Looks pretty peaceful to me. This is why we bring uh, the lock pick with us. All right, in we go. Yeah, all seems nice. And quiet. The Lotus Passage. Okay, now there is a skull and crossbones here, but I think that's purely decorative. I must be having a few more uh, tools and what not to. Hello over there, street guard. Good, good, good. That's a good starting point right there. Together with uh, yet more flipping keypads. Now I'm guessing, my friend, uh, street guards aren't allowed here because now we're moving towards uh, the facility. Oh, Me and you cool? Are we cool? Okay, we're cool. We've got things. Oh. Was today's code? Nice. Got it. Zero one one eight. So that's going to get me to a secret passageway disguised as shipping container. Love it. Meanwhile, the other door that's going to bring me up on this building, far side of the uh, far side of the road. Let's start there again. Let's let's make sure we understand what's going on before we go after any targets directly. So just get over here. Job done. Here we go. And I'm still allowed to be here. Good. So, what's this building? Okay. No one seems too uh, too fussed by my presence. But, yeah, there is prepare food. Uh, somebody important is going to be coming to do some food. Oh. Hi, I'm Chenzi. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yeah, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Okay, so uh, get him some food, get that document. In fact, use the food to poison him to get him in the bathroom. There's presumably a bathroom somewhere around over here. That'll do the job. Here we go, right here. Perfect. By any chance, is anybody leaving some, you know, convenient rat poison dotted about? Because I'm not sure I've got any right now. No, no poison here at all, though. I think there was some floating around in uh, the laundrette. So, oh, there's also... Never mind, that isn't actually open. Okay, out here, this is the main plaza. So, yeah, that's the laundrette up there. That's the karaoke. 
There are the two buildings. Right, I've done a full loop. I think I understand roughly where I am, though. Uh, what's this building precisely? I'll add in here. Yeah, here we go. But then we've got even more bloody code doors right over here. Right, codes are everywhere. That's what the security's doing, uh, doing here. And then out to uh, the roof. So this will be the point where I can potentially uh, find a crossover point if I had to guess. Oh, hello. You guys seem a bit, you know, uh, serious. Then again, I am just as a guard. I am supposed to be here. You guys mind if I just uh, pass by? Yeah? If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Because it doesn't say, you know, uh, I've got trouble. So, all right. Hush wants us to guard that satellite dish with our lives. He comes out to check it personally if anything happens to the link. Really? Oh, yeah. He's convinced Royce wants to snoop on it. And that she's trying to install some spyware on it. I kid you not. Yeah, I heard rumors he's not doing too well. What with his condition and all? Condition. Paranoia. Fucked up personality. You can call it what you want. I just want to stay clear of it. So keep your eyes peeled. Alright? Will do. Okay, well that's nice and easy in that case. Literally just uh, interfere with this nonsense. No one even... No one's even guarding this door. So just getting over here... Just, you know, press a button and he'll just, you know, come down to say hello. Though we've got to watch out for... Yeah. There's a camera. There's a massive blind spot. So, okay. We can get to the fourth floor with just a basic guard disguise uh, pretty darn easily. And if I wanted to lure him over here, I could do. But no. No, 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 no. That's very boring. And also, uh, there's also this. Okay, now where's this bringing me precisely? Clamber up to the very top. Uh oh, oh, oh drop, 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 drop. There are drones. This is the roof of the ICA, John. You knew this. Now I know there's some poison over there on that shelf. If I just turn off the fuse box, I'm guessing uh, he's going to come and investigate. Because, you know, this is uh, this is his laundromat and whatever. So uh, you just uh, go and have a little look, see? At that nice and quick, and I'll be helping myself to your poison. Thank uh, you. Round over here. And I'll also be having your umbrella, because screw you. There we go. Poison, lovely. Okay, down you come, my friend. Nice and peaceful, like. Just put you in the freezer. And that lets me... Actually, do I even need to bother being the chef? Because I can just ring the bell. It's fine, no one's looking, so just, you know... Make a little bit of uh, food up. 47, very good at this. Now we're just going to be poisoning uh, that plate of food. A little bit of rat poison uh, from the laundrette. Ring the bell. And now we just stay out of the way. There was rat poison in the toilet right here. Okay, so everything I did with the laundrette, completely unnecessary. But that's all absolutely fine. And we're not drowning him. No, 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 no. We're just going to knock him unconscious while he's... while he's vomiting. Okay, so you're going to die too. Got it. Well, we're just going to put you in here. So now you're vomiting unconscious and full of rat poison you have not got out of your system. Yeah, he's dead. He's 100% dead, but we're just going to pretend he's not. So, okay. Now I'm Mr. Pritchard. Again, don't mind me. I just enjoy shaving sometimes. So, you know, that's why I'm suddenly bold. Anyway, what we're going to do for the time being is... Uh, yes, there was... Uh, there's a nice little spot to hide ourselves a... Oh, hello. Are you okay? I'm not sure this guy's okay. But, yeah, there's a nice bin right here. And now we're ready to go. Hello there, lads. I would like to, you know, take advantage of this homeless shelter. Oh, um, do you mind if I just go and dump some guns somewhere nice and fast? And now we accept the frisk. Lovely. Marvelous. Okay, up to the first floor. God, it's a smell. It's you. How can you stand it? Clothes are so filthy, I can literally... When did you last change out? Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. 47 in this trilogy has quite the flipping sense of humour. Okay, let's just sit down. See what's going on. 
Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this phase. I knew Hush would be pleased with him. He signed up for the full package. Strong, too, all things considered. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Okay, so I can't have the experiment done to me, but you, my friend, uh, I think we might want to bring you down once we're alone outside, because now, uh, now I'm in the building, nice okay, and easy. Okay. All right, buddy, you're just coming down uh, nice and easy. Grab the gun, uh, put it away, uh, and I'm just going to be uh, bringing you somewhere nice and uh, nice and safe. Now, the problem is, where's there are? Uh... Okay, where's the nearest container? Because I'm not seeing much in the way of uh, containers round here, which is a little bit of an issue. I don't really know where to hide your body, but as a street guard, uh, I'm still trespassing. Okay, this is uh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Derelict apartments. All right, any chance we've got? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's those guards who are up on the roof. So, uh, they've got their own thing going on, and we've got cameras. Okay, security is uh, seriously starting to step up here. Okay, so that there, that's the derelict apartments. But, I feel like that's a bit of a tricky thing to pass. So, how about we don't do that instead? Uh, how about we go back over to uh, the northeastern rooftop, and we just nip over that way. That's got to be the easier option here. Well, unless we could get ourselves... Uh, the right disguise. I think I saw a couple of people over. Hey, Hello. All right, lads. One of you come and investigate, if you'd be so. Excuse me. Excuse the flip out of me. There you go. One of you round here, please. Okay. Can you recognise me? Yes. You know what your friend looks like. So maybe just uh, grab all my throwables I need to use to uh, get you out of the way, and then we'll just move you round the corner nice and fast. But actually, now I'm this guy. Any chance you guys mind me checking out what's going on here? Security cameras covering the only entrance, but there's a window here. Okay, guys, don't mind me. I'm going to work under the assumption that we might just be able to uh, bypass that little camera with yeah, there we go, and uh, Fuse box. Beautiful. So we can also crack that open if need be. Is that a normal fuse box or... Okay, it doesn't have a removable old fuse. Well done, Hitman 3. This is progress. Though if I was to actually... Ooh, could I be a scientist? Depends who's going to... Oh, there's a shortcut. Great, we got a shortcut right there. So okay, that leads to uh, the rear of the block, which is really bloody convenient from uh, the courtyard outside. Okay, that's a nice shortcut. Now, uh, what I really want to see is, uh, yes, the doctor coming outside. That, that'd be ideal. It's the doctor. Spectacular. Now, no need for anything else. Oh, yeah. The there we go. They don't care about frisking the lab coats. I'm just walking straight the flip upstairs. Now, that's a fair whack easy, though some of them, uh, some of them know what's up. Okay, this is the security station. If I do get caught on camera, this is where we uh, this is where we sort that out. So here's the abandoned apartments. Couple of people can see through me, but honestly, not uh, not too much here. There's a few cell. Okay, there's another few cell puzzle somewhere in here. Marvelous. Right, in which case, just get round the back of the security lad and straight up to the top floor. As I'm assuming I'm allowed to be here for I, as it turns out, am a scientist. You can tell, because I'm going to science at... Oh dear, there's more bloody... More bloody codes, dear, oh flippin' dear. Tell me the name of your mother. Oh, Adenson. Adenson. Give me a second. Adenson. 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 Give me a second. Uh, I don't remember. This okay. Let's so they're doing something to screw with their memories. That's easy. I grew up in... What the hell? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. What is this? Please stay calm. 
have a little break and we'll pick this up in a few minutes. Feeling a bit better? I... I don't understand what is happening to me. I... I don't like this. Okay, yes. Bad, bad things are happening. Got it. And I'm assuming this is... Uh, there it is. So I could have skipped straight here. And also, if I need to, I can go up another level right there. Just in case I don't have access with the disguise. But I think we're fine. Oh, and just round the corner. Um, right. Things are... Things are getting worse rather than uh, rather than better. They've got people sabotage the test pod. That sounds like a good way to potentially um, kill people, actually. So, I mean, we might do that, but like, don't do it as a plan A. We're still one floor below uh, Hush himself. All right. So uh, some people are not not doing so hot. Lots of people actually not doing so hot. Like, two out of three, not looking... Nope, three out of four, looking really not good. Okay, up the other staircase, and... Oh, 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 okay. Hi. Uh, Hush is coming down. Lay. It's the satellite link to Morsak back up safe. Trust me, Hush. I'll let you know if I don't see anything. I just know how voices love. I feel breathing down my neck all the time. Bro, say that so hard. Gosh, you need to put up the mind of a project. Vision, leave all that tedious stuff to me. I'll protect you, okay? You know that. My vision. I can't let her get to me. Keep focus. That's it. Exactly. Okay, there's the paranoia, but why do I get the feeling that she might be manipulating him? Yeah, that just seemed a little bit like he was getting off topic and she just said, no, get back to work. Something's not 100% right here. Right, sneak around the back of all these guys. Let's get after Hush. See what's uh, going on. And our scientists allowed... Uh, Upstairs. Yes, they are on golden, but Hush knows what his own staff looks like, so just be aware, be careful. Oh, hello there. This will be the guy on the top floor then. Continue test per page 109 at 40% signal strength. Signal strength 40% confirmed. Test prep page 109 initiated. Where was I? See. Identify memory marker section 14. Amplify. Amplify. Remote mind control. Good. I Good. see. Good. Don't get too excited, Hush. No, 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 no. Oh, and uh, here we go. People aren't just saying all the codes out loud, uh, they're written down. Two five five two. All right, let's let's see what we got uh, next door because there was something fancy going on here. And oh, here we go. Somebody hiding in the bathroom. You say this looks like a bathroom. A hello over there. Right, excuse me. Don't mind me. Just need to uh, bring you down, my friend, uh, because now oh, I get to be the test subject after all. And uh, if he's going to try and control my brain, uh, what if it goes both ways? Uh, what if I could just, you know, uh, make him shoot himself or something? Oh, uh, oh, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, hang on. On the way, there's... A oh, that is a box that needs... Hello, sexy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I've dropped a save because I don't know what's going to be, you know, uh, the most badass way to deal with him. Because blatantly put the fuse into that machine to get it working. Here we go. This is fine. Sit and keep one on one with Hush 47. Make him hurt. Jinli, let's start at 100% signal strength. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative, 
I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But... 60. Log concluding experiment H109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. H109 initiated. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. Resist. Resist. Yes, we're hurting him. The signal's him. too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. Oh, it's not safe. They don't know who they're dealing with here, and I'm guessing he needs to go using his magic chair next door. I plug it in, then that, like, zaps him or something. I don't know, but there's something that needs to sell next door. It's going to be great. And now he's going to try and control me. Wait to resist. No. Nothing. He is a strong one. I can get to him. Just need to focus. Abort! You're going too far. No, he's on the verge to break him. Go higher. You are already at 100%. Oh, oh, never mind. The personal assistant is getting in the way. I see. So she might need to be got rid of her if we want to push for further testing. Here we go. Hush is literally going into this room. Let's figure out what we're... What we're looking at here. Get out. Listen I here, pal. I'm sorry. But you're not getting through. Power. Everything else is working just fine. Just plug it in. We can't, sir. The motor impulse system is almost maxing out the input. We'll risk a shutdown if we take more power from the top. the original building. Well, change it. We don't have any more fuses. Find one. Okay, so he's just going to be, you know, sticking around here till the thing is fixed. So we know how to fix it. That's all absolutely fine. And in the meantime, you need to be got rid of. Okay, put a hammer over there. That'll just get her out of the way. Hopefully nobody sees anything. Is everyone nice and hidden? I think everyone's nice and hidden. Right, bring you down, put you into the cupboard. Oh dear, she went for a coffee break. Marvellous. Right, in you go. Job done. Here we go. Two, five, five, two. There we go. Job done. And now... Oh, he's gone. The guy's gone. Good. Good, 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 good. How about we just uh, plug that in? Marvellous. Help myself to a few more notes and just got away with that. Here we go. Hush is now coming back up. He'll see his machines working. He'll get his therapy. Everybody's going to be thrilled. Where's Jun Li? Never mind her. I'll take over. Let's pick it up where we left off, Sister Lee. At the same signal strength. Yes, 100%. I feel strong. I can take him. Oh, bloody hell. One of the bodies has actually just been found. Which one is that? Darn it. Well, what can you do, eh? We're not getting Silent Assassin. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, because now the good doctor's out the way. Now, now we're going to flip and fry your brain. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse. Actually, what happens if I, like, don't resist? Now I'm curious. I'm just going to let him do his thing. Let's let him take over. I see you. Every little atom. Who are you? I'm not scared of you. I could... You got the bastard, Hush. Now go get Imogen Royce and we can get to the core. Oh, never mind. He just died anyway. Didn't even need to resist. Marvellous. So, um, don't mind me. I'll just be, um, on my way, actually. 
And you know what? We'll let that stand, but I'm also curious what happens if, you know, uh, his machine's working after the first experiment. So, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just fixing your machine for ya. Oh, I see precisely what this thing is. Oh. Oh, yes. Because it's got a big thing leading outside and outside. He puts himself in there for his uh, therapy. But then, it flipping. Okay, we can gas him. Okay, now that that's hilarious. That we've got to be doing, obviously. So let's just... Uh, Let's just get on with that in a second. Just gotta find some nice, you know, poison that's ideally lethal if at all possible. Okay, I've searched the nearby areas and unfortunately, yeah, I can't find anything in the way of, uh, yeah, uh, poison. Not that's lethal poison anyway, but I feel like there's an opportunity here together with, apparently there's a, there's a sky bridge here. Linking the roof of uh, the ICA, uh, yeah, data storage uh, with uh, his apartment building. Okay, this could all be, uh, this could all be of interest, potentially. So, uh, ignore all of this, just get back to where we're supposed to be. Marvellous. Because, uh, over to uh, here. If I just poison the ventilator with, uh, yes, the vomity poison, that's going to get him in the toilet. Then we can drown him. So, uh, you know what? May as well, two for the price of one. But this time, when he goes to his magic room, here we go. Lean back. Close your eyes. And relax. Here comes uh, the gas. So I'm guessing he's now going to be making his way to uh, the bathroom. Because uh, there's literally only one bathroom. So how about we just, uh, yes, take care of a little bit of, a uh, nice bit of drowning. Everyone loves that, right? And, oh, never mind, he's, he's over there, hang on. He's vomiting over the edge or something. Just, just, uh, just need to take care of him for a second. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting to happen, actually. He's... He's very overlooked. Right. Might need to, might need to slightly uh, prepare that area for him to have an unfortunate accident. Okay, this time I got rid of the guy who was already out here before anybody else arrived. Uh, and at that point, all we need to do is pull out one of my many, uh, many hammers. Uh, just get you to... Excuse the flip out of me. Would you mind just, you know, looking over there for a second? Okay, this guy is, this guy is undistractable. Well, that's, that's just not fair. So we might have to do this one a bit, um, scruffy, as it turns out. So you can just, uh, go down, and then you can just be pushed off the edge. There we go. Okay, so that body was, that body was found, uh, straight away by... I don't know who, but someone did. Okay, let's just pretend we did it the awesome way where I blew up his brain. This was just, you know, showing off the alternative, which... Definitely would benefit from something that's not rat poison. Alright, the not rat poison, that's the way to go. Now, back downstairs, because if I remember correctly, this is where we left uh, Mr. Pritchard's disguise. Right here by the bin, right? Yes, here we go. Okay, so uh, we know we need the form. There's only two places you can be staying. There's the apartment that was uh, empty before. And then we've got an apartment with... Uh, a keypad. This has got to be his, but I don't know the code, so, uh, okay, we might need to do a little bit of, uh, clambering and whatnot. Here we go, climbable surfaces. Right, that's how we get in. We just have to go back up to, uh, yeah, where we passed the frisk a moment ago. This over here, here we go. So, climb over here, then drop to here, scale, and uh, this is going to be out. My apartment, lovely. ICA. Ooh, ICA apartment. Yes, because he's a board member of the ICA. Okay, this here, this isn't really like, you know, lying or anything. Because I am a member of the ICA. Just, you know, a bit more on the um, front line, shall we say. And there's also an answering machine here. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. 
I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chanting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh... Okay, maybe that one's not, uh, that one's not so important. So, uh, okay, got the form, and I can just get in the back way, and I also now know what the code is. It's the same as the one I already had, so that was a lot of fuss for nothing. Okay, guy should still be at the restaurant. I'm sure she said earlier I could go in the kitchen, so, uh, here we go. No trouble. Hello there, let's do the flipping tour. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes, I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, this one is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. So yeah, this is going to bring me straight down into, uh, yeah, the sub-basements. Though I'm not sure there's actually, no, there's not much going on in the other floors anyway. So it's all pretty much underground. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular bill that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Hey. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a risk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Please give me your P41, Mr. Pritchard, so we can get things rolling. Um, how many weapons am I holding, by the way? Okay, I've got two guns on me. That's maybe a bit of an issue. I might need to, um, dump them somewhere. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. All right, no reason to uh, rush. I'm guessing this is going to be like uh, a Kaido. That panel can be hacked with your camera if you have the correct dongle. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an Access authentic security denied. clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Okay. I see what's going on here. That's what all of these things are. I can start Access hacking granted. all the panels and making every single bit of glass actually Access a wall. Granted. Lovely. Now, uh, just need to very quickly hide a couple of uh, guns, actually. Though, where does... Where does this go? Is this up to... Uh, the ground? Does this even do anything? Hang on, this. Ooh! Okay, so there is just a way to just flipping walk in then. Well, that's that's bloody useless. Oh, also apparently I failed the mission story because I was too slow. Okay, we'll probably revert to an earlier save in that case because I would like to, you know, see what's going on inside now I understand where we are and what's happening. Okay, this time just dump the gear up top by the door. Hopefully no one's coming in. And if it gets found, guns aren't actually the worst thing in the world, so that should be just fine. Hello over there. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm back. 
So on this occasion, I am happy to have a quick frisk, no problem whatsoever. Nothing suspicious there whatsoever, with the exception of uh, my camera, three cans of Dr. Pepper, four crowbars, two apples, a screwdriver, a stethoscope, three hammers, a lockpick, two wrenches, a lead pipe, some soap, two doses of rat poison, a hobby knife, a statuette, a toy tank, seven coins, two apricots. Okay, that's your lot. I have got deep pockets, presumably. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. Oh, my cover might be about to be blown. As I said, I see. personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. Okay, how could I use that potentially? So maybe I could get, you know, Miss Royce uh, fired. If I could just mess with her enough, something like that. She gets pulled into medical, maybe even dismissed if things go sufficiently far wrong. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait to return? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. Okay, I've got a laptop here, but... You can hack that panel with your camera, ah, we're just see. learning how to use these things in case we didn't do it earlier. Access so there we go, that's a little bit of privacy. No one around here is going to see anything. Hack. And... There we go. Lovely. Good. I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Alright, keep on the tour. This is going to be useful. Learn what's going on. But now I've got tier 2 clearance because I picked up the dongle. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Marvellous. Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operation. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. Oh, good. There she is. And there's the target. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, Hi, apparently. Imogen Royce. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Like Edgy. This is the BLAST and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. 
You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little All demonstration right for you. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty, but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term guard complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Yes, indeed get Alicia to deactivate the safety and then flash the room while she's in it. Now, I'm not really sure what flashing a room with a hard drive means, but I assume it's like, you know, good for some reason or bad, not sure. Oh, so we got ourselves uh, vents. Access denied. Okay, so either I need a red, presumably engineering key card or, no, not key card, dongle, or just a screwdriver. Screwdriver will do the job too. Then I can just skirt through around here. Lovely. But the mission's now done. So now I can do whatever I bloody well feel like. So, okay. I like that. You can get around to her fancy biometric security just using a good old screwdriver. Love it. Because as it turns out, yeah, here we go. Just to crack through all of this. Get through all of that. Where am I? And what's, what's going on precisely? Zoom in a little bit here. So that gets me down to uh, the lowest level, the data core. All of these are going to be remote controlled giblets. Okay, as a board member, I can go where the flip I okay. want. Marvellous. So, all right, just use my assassin sense. If a dongle's around here, it'll be, you know, flashing in lovely, lovely yellow. Let's see what's going on in the core control room. Because I'm guessing I'm not really supposed to be in here, right? No, as a board member, I can. Right, let's have a little bit of uh, privacy, actually. I need nobody seeing what's going on in here. 
So, uh, cleanse the call room. Safety mechanism. So I can't do it right now. She's in there, but the problem is, so's a guard. Then again, I've already not got silent assassin, so... I mean, we could do, just for a bit of fun. I can also just get her out of the room nice and easy. The problem is, security camera. In fact, hang on, where is There it is. Okay, so... If I could find the security office, that'd be golden. But first, I wouldn't mind finding, you know, that red, red dongle. Let's see what we can find just by moving around the outskirts here. Maybe don't let her see me, though. And uh, tier 3 access dongle. Good. So now, uh, now I could open those doors. Just not the blue ones yet. There's also chloroform. Okay, put that in aircon or something. Everyone's suddenly feeling very nice and sleepy. Everyone's got to be loving that. Quick little bit of... There we go, screwdrivering. Don't even need to screwdriver anymore. Because now these days... Oh, this'll do. This'll flip and do. Aircon in the room. We knock everyone unconscious while they're in the room. Oh, that's got to be a thing, right? Alright, just climb through here. Where am I? Oh. Okay. I'm somewhere where I'm not really supposed to be. But is this a way to hack into the... This is a way to hack into this area, isn't it? Okay. So now, I've got an access point to all of this. Okay, so most of what's going on in Basement 2 is actually just uh, backstage areas. And is this by any chance? No, this is just where someone's keeping the whiskey and muffin. So that there, that's a good Friday evening. So yeah, to confirm literally all of this on uh, sub-basement 3, that is all tunnels. This meanwhile is just a nice simple red area where I'm now allowed to go. Don't mind me, sir. I'll be escorting you around. Procedure. Oh, I've accidentally picked up my flipping escort. Excuse me, perhaps some, um, perhaps some moments privacy. You don't follow me in here, do you? If you follow me in here, that's gonna be... Okay, um... This is... This is very awkward, my friend. Would you would you mind not? But if I just stand a little behind you, my friend. Uh, there we go. That's better. You just have a lovely nap. Okay, I am now free from trouble. And we've got ourselves uh, the scan, presumably. There scan we go. Initiated. I get myself scan. Oh, this might have been a mistake. Um, Scanning all body systems. I'm not sure who I say I am. Scan complete. Thank you for your patience. Okay, no trouble. No trouble at all. Anybody happen to be leaving their, uh, yes, lovely, lovely blue dongle dotted about? No, but I can also bypass this just by, uh, yeah, breaking through here into a little, ah, nice little backstage area, but no, all. Oh, there it is, blue dongle. Right, blue dongle's right here. Got my three dongles. Now I can pass at any door I wish. Good. Okay, I think we've done the full loop here. So now we can just head down over to here. There's also an emergency exit. I'm guessing, however, that's going to be our, uh, our exit point. But now I've got this. I think I can now bypass around the camera. I couldn't skip past uh, before. Yes, there it is. That's cameras I couldn't get past, but now, now I can just uh, take care of all of this. Lovely. I've had two psychological debriefs already, and I still keep getting the take a break notification on my screen. I don't think I feel that bad. I feel like shit. Berlin was bad. As bad as it gets. Royce called it a genuine fuck up to my face. I thought she was going to fire me, but I just got a warning. Oh my goodness, you're one of the people who managed the Berlin operation. Oh, that's adorable. You guys were awful. And yeah, this is going to get me into the actual security office. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, more toilets. There's toilets everywhere. But more importantly, I see that's the security tape deck. Oh, but first, hello, armory. No, I don't really need the armory to us. I'm allowed in the armory, by the way. Yeah, I'm allowed everywhere. Flipping access all areas, me. So there is another... Okay, that's another tier 3 dongle. That was the uh, that's the red variant, I believe. Now, don't suppose you'd mind if I helped myself to just a handful of... 
Ooh, I see a briefcase. That's a giant pile of, you know, grenades, whatever. I'm not really supposed to be picking up these grenades, but... Okay, just one. I can't resist just one. All right, my friend, I'm going to be needing you to walk away. Not, you know, using a flash grenade. Just an apple. Just a nice apple. The door closed at just the wrong bloody moment, didn't it? Right. Apple. There we go. How about you go and investigate that while I wipe the tapes? And uh, there we go. Cameras now useless. Good. So now, now I can go where I flipping well. Please. Good. So now, no need to go the long way round. Marvellous. So, okay. I've pretty much got the full run of the place. Do we need to get rid of... Yes. Now we can get rid of you. You need to be removed. And... Uh, now that the cameras are off, I can get you into this cupboard over here. Lovely. Okay. Down you come. Grab you. Inside this room, you're safe. But if I'm about to send somebody else to, you know, disable the security or the safety or whatever, which I don't know how to know. Where are you? And where are you going, my friend? Uh-oh. 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 That's right, you just stay right there. That's good. That's good. I want you to stay right there and not look this way because there's, you know, just a small amount of corpse hiding going on. There we go, lovely. All right, she said, Alicia. We speak to Alicia, Alicia will immediately go and sabotage the system. Which is, you know, supposed to prove a point, but also might completely, you know, allow me to murder Royce. Oh, perfect timing too. Royce has just entered the room. Here we go. So disables uh, the safety. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Alright, so... What is she going to do... Now. Alright, she's on the move. She's on the move. Alright, so... Uh, also, this guy will leave the core entrance. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Oh! She's stopped from entering because... Uh, oh! Wait a flipping minute. I don't need to do this myself. I don't need to do this. That's what the fourth one's for. The fourth one is there to... Oh! I see. We get rid of him, she can get to the safety mechanism. Because the safety mechanism is uh, internal. She deals with that, and then Sharon Reed, upon being fired, uh, does the core maintenance anyway. She'll do it within 11 seconds. Step one, fire Jeremy Bolts. And now he's going to leave uh, and call his mum. While he is busy, we fire Alicia Reynolds. She, meanwhile, freaks the flip out. Goes into the core, disables all the safety mechanisms. Right, he's off, meaning she just gets to walk in. Camera 4 should let me see what's uh, going on. Right over there, here we go. It's going to be... Ah, it's going to be that little box I looked at earlier but couldn't do anything with. That's the safety protocol. So she takes care of that. Lovely. There we go. Human error. And now she walks away... Then I just fire Sharon Reed, and I don't even need to get my hands dirty. I didn't do a thing. All right, so uh, there we go. She walks out. Just wait for Royce to come back. We've got ourselves a kill. Just wait for her to be nice and inside, and now begin the process. So, Sharon, she's... Oh, um... She's unconscious in a cupboard. Okay, I need to do this one myself. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that was that was her. Okay, this is fine too. This here, this is the personal touch. Sometimes uh, you just need uh, the personal touch. So I'm just going to do it myself. So just, uh, yes, here we go. Cleanse the core. And uh, there we flipping go. Now, does anyone actually know? Because I'm not sure anybody does. I think we're golden for now. Oh! Somebody does. Okay, body has been slightly, slightly found. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just inspecting the corpses. Uh, 
You're not alone in there. Yeah, I know. You need to empty the room before I can seal the doors. Okay. I need to. I need to get rid of her. Yes, seal the doors, please. Seal the doors. Seal them. Seal it. Thank you. Good. You're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows. Forty-seven. No need to worry about intruders. Ooh. This, I assume, is a hard drive. Like, it must have like at least twelve terabytes of storage in that. Cause it's pretty big. It's all here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Alright. How do we do said thing, precisely? And there we go. That's literally all the targets from... Uh, Previous parts of the trilogy. Lovely. Tell me, what did it feel like taking lives? Random. Disorder. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Alright. Delete the files. And yeah, we saw all that, of course, back in the very original uh, tutorial area at the ICA uh, training facility. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Well, to be honest, I also spent like a few years as like the gardener in a monastery working for a Catholic priest. So yeah, I'm adaptable. Screw it. Let's just upload it. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Safety detected. Lockdown commencing. Shit! I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the vents to get out. Go! Now! Don't worry, it's fine. I already actually, you know, took care of all of that nonsense, so... That means I'll shoot on sight. It's fine, don't worry, I already opened these vents. Made the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Oh, okay, some of it's a little bit on, uh, on fire. Right, I need to make my way to that emergency exit, I'm guessing. Okay, we've got slight problems, but hopefully they're about to bust into the room where I no longer am. Or, I might need to go the other way around. Okay, either we shoot our way out, or I find another solution. Well, this is a nice dramatic ending. Right, get around the back of you, lads. There was another way out over here. Warning. Stick around the back. Where was the other way through? That's great. That vent's on fire as well. Good. Good, 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 good. Everything's on fire, apparently. Marvellous. There's more. Okay, just stay on the far side. Oh, bloody hell, there's there's a lot. Go, 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 go. go through here. So I need to get up to the next level anyway. So I could just shoot my way through. Warning. Maybe not a Call brilliant idea. I don't know how transparent Warning. this area is uh, as far as uh, the guards are Command concerned. Please advise, over. Can I get out this way? This might be easier. Yeah, round here. Okay. What's the easiest way to... Oh, there is something over here. Through here. Can I loop around the outskirts over? Yeah, here we go. This is the way to flip and go right here. Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna say this is fine. I mean, I see an exit. I'm just also sort of seeing it does appear to be locked. So that's that's good. Okay, we might have a moment I can make a tiny bit of progress right now. It's not great, but it's just stay right there. Oh, flip me, that was close. That was tight. Right, now I'm in the security office. 
Everybody just... No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. There we go. I can sort of hide around the back. I just need to find the right moment to get to uh, the stairs. Get up the stairs to the next level. This is the only way up. Okay, well, this is... This is good. Thank you very much for this, Olivia. I appreciate this. This is this is just marvellous. I'm so glad this is a thing. Right, just, just. Here we go, straight up to the top. Okay. Now, the problem I appear to have here is... This appears to be a little bit, um, not, not working, actually. Oh, there's more over there. Bloody hell. Everything is fine. Just keep on. If I'm moving up in the world, that's got to be good. Uh, this is the exit. This is a hostile area, and I'm kind of walking into a lot of people. But the moment I step out this door, hopefully, I'm golden, right? Officially, I'm trespassing, but nobody seems to care. Marvellous. Right. Good. Good, good, good. So, apparently, my options are the highway, or I assume that's the train station. So... Okay, I am going to go to what I believe might be the highway, so... Okay, that was... That was a lot of people. I'm not gonna deny that was... That was an awful lot of people, so that was fun. Still, let's just, uh, be on our way. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's definitely for the better. Off we flipping go. Marvellous. So, sadly, no silent assassin, a little bit scruffy in places, but still got ourselves, you know, a big old pile of stuff. So that's nice, too. We turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. Oh, we all know you're not going to betray 47, okay? You didn't do it in blood money, you didn't do it in absolution, you're not gonna do it now. And next up, we are going to Argentina for the farewell. So, I'm assuming Diana's going to pretend to betray me and then summing something something. She'll, like, you know, use as an excuse to kiss me. She did at the end of Blood Money. It's gonna be fine. Because, you know, there's a little bit of sexual tension going on. Or at least, there isn't really these days. There kind of used to be. Now it's not so much. Now it's a bit more found family. It was a bit more, yeah, sexual back in the Blood Money days, to my mind. Given, you know, the kiss at the funeral. So... Okay, I'm guessing we're heading into a bit of Diana-related chicanery over in Argentina. So, uh, that will be coming up in a couple of days' time. Uh, hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Hitman 3. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So, apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we- Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead. 